I'm here for retribution. Way back in 2023, I played the Yorkshire Amateur at this course and missed the cut by just one shot. So I'm here to make up for it. This is Headingley Golf Club. It's a sensational championship layout, so it's going to be tough and I need to score plus three or better in 18 holes. I'm going to need your help though. I need your prayers and thoughts. Let's go. Right, well, here is the redemption arc. Plus three or better. I've got four iron off the first. It's not a long hole, but it's testing, especially the second shot. So I only need about 210 off this tee. do nicely. I was aiming for that tree and that's where it's gone. That's a great start for you boy. And if you see some balls flying around, it's Luke from up and down golf. <laughs> you mean going left, right and anywhere but on the fairway? Yeah, I'll be straight as a die <laughs> all day long. Well, I've just careered a four iron and left myself a perfect 52 degree. It's about 110 it's playing to this flag. So let's go hunting early, shall we? That's thin. Looks like it needs to sit. Please spin back. Yeah, nice. Uh, that was very ropey and we've been in that position before, but we should be able to get the flat stick on it. Well, after my very skinny approach, quite aptly describes me to be honest, but we've got a putt. It's not an easy one, there is a lot of right to left. I would snap your hand off for two wax from here, please. Or one. Thank you very much. That was uh, somewhat of a surprise, but a very, very good one. I'll take that. We're already gaining on my previous score around here. Well, I've absolutely no idea what Luke's up to. He's gone wandering off down the fairway. I'm about to unleash seven hells on this golf ball. It's downwind and off the right, so that suits me just fine. There's a big tree up there on the right-hand side on its own. And that's what I'm going for, and give it the beans. Bit healy, but that'll work, it's just up the right, should bounce left. Yeah, just hung up on the right rough, but it'll give me a good angle in, I'll take that. Well, I'm slightly miffed that I've stayed in the right rough, but I can see more of the green, which is good. I've got 125, so I've got my 50 degree, which is 120. I think that should be all right. I just don't want to miss this left, so I'm going to aim 20 feet right. Needs to get left a bit. And I'll tell you what. Yeah, I think that might work out nicely, actually, but I've no idea because I can't see anything up there. We'll go hit it again. Well, I've arrived long of the green so that gives me a lot of information about how firm it is underfoot today so i'm just going to play a bump and run with the wedge it's going to be left to right and downhill as it gets on the green so if i can engage my sevy hands that would be nice those are not sevy hands well, I did half a job. I got the line right, but the uh, the pace was indifferent at best. All right, I've watched Luke drain one from a similar distance, so it wasn't a great chip, but we can make up for it here. Just got to go. It's in the heart. Eh, oh dear. Bit unlucky, to be fair. A five is not the end of the world. That's one of the tougher holes on the front nine, especially. Poo. All right, 
not so catastrophic bogey, not ideal, but it is what it is. It's early days. 400 yard par four and it's a good one. There is a ditch up there at about 280. Don't want to toot my own horn, but I might reach it. Come on. Well, that's more up the left than up the right. Take a straight bounce. Um, yeah, hopefully I'm not impeded. Yeah, that I don't know, but you definitely didn't go in the ditch. I'll take it. It's in play. I'm a very lucky man. According to Luke, my ball hit this tree and it's just rolled down to the left and given me a pretty ideal shot in here. There's another 120 shot. It's about 128 to this flag, but I'm not going to get any spin, so I'm hoping for a little bounce. Aiming right at this flag, because left is a no-no. Um, that's a long way right of where I was aiming, but it might work. Don't stay up. <laughs> um, well, I deserved that. That wasn't where I was intending to hit it, but I thought I might get away with it. But I didn't. I've just watched Luke drain one, if only. Uh, I am in quite the predicament. I'm in the thick stuff and I have very little, so I think I just have to take my medicine and try and get it on the green. I think as long as I can manoeuvre this out of this lie, it'll reach. No, it won't. Try again. This isn't much easier. Oh well, give it a go. Come on, Sevit. That has no spin on it. That's pretty good. Although the fairly dodgy start continues. Oh dear. Well, it's going to be an uphill battle from here, although that is stroke index one, so not really surprising. Three over three, three. Sorry if you can hear any car noise. There's a main road just behind me going to brush off that double if you know the channel well it happens fairly often so no real surprises just a four iron down here it's only a short par four it's quite awkward so up the right with the draw just like that right we're back finding our golf game in the bin somewhere and pulling it out Okay, I'm in great position here, albeit off the fairway, but it's a nice light. 123 to a back flag. So this time I don't want to go long or right. But I obviously don't want to miss left, so that's a bit of a conundrum. All good. Forget what happened before. Just smooth a 50 degree in. Retribution with this club as well. Let's give ourselves a nice birdie putt. It's more like it. We're back. We've definitely got a birdie putt. Should have continued to look at that because it looks like it's very close and I hope it is. Thoughts and prayers. Golf game has returned finally. We've warmed up after three and a bit holes. So weirdly on three of the four holes that we've played I've had the same club for my second shot and I finally managed to dial it in. I was hoping it was a tap in but it's more like five feet and there's left to right, so let's just roll it in and not worry about any of those things. Yeah. That somewhat makes up for an early double, and the game is afoot. Oh, Good birdie, mate. thank you very much. Now knock yours in, please. Just a quick interlude. If you are loving this video, and you're now emotionally and mentally invested in my journey to scratch golf, hit the subscribe button now. Thanks and back to the carnage. I don't know where my golf game's been, but it's returned. That was a lovely birdie. But things don't get any easier here. We've got another par four. That's six on the trot to begin. Didn't want to say it's a tough opening stretch, but it is. Good drive needed up the right center here. We're basically straight over that gull. Uh, 
tiny bit left. That'll be fine. Left rough. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with it. Cool. That makes me feel better. Yeah, it wasn't entirely how I drew it up, but that doesn't matter as long as it works. Right, there was mild panic when I saw the bushes up there, but I'm way short of them. I've got 105 yards, but it's slightly downwind, so it's more like 100. I've got my 90 yard club, because I think it's going to come out a little bit hot. I'm short of this flag's alright, because it leads me an uphill putt. Come on, another birdie putt. It's a bit right of it. Yeah, that's okay. It's a bit right and short, but that'll be pretty much a straight uphill putt. Yeah, I would like to make this, but in all honesty, there's quite a bit of left to right, which I didn't think there would be from down here. However, it's uphill, so I can be nice and aggressive, and we know that's the hallmark of my putting. <laughs> oh, thank goodness that started to turn at the end, because that was a ginormous misread. Thank you. Fair wellied into the flag, but I'll take a four. Tough hole, again. Okay. Sixth hole, right to left wind, par three. Cracking views, don't know what of. It's 158 flag. So, I'm trying to hit a 148 shot. I'm not that good, but I'm gonna try. That was very close to being a shank. That's got to get over that bunker. Ouch. Wasn't a million miles off, actually. Both being good and clipping hosel. Not me best tee shot. I've got to try and ascertain about how much sand is in here. It's not too bad. Should be able to get the club under it. I think I just need to land it atop this little ridge and let it feed down to the flag. Let's give myself a par putt. Hmm, I almost struck that too well if that's a thing. Just too much check. I'm out. A little bit more meat than I would have liked, but we're putting. Let's be deadly with the flat stick. back left nope thank you just thought it was going to come back from from that side a bit but just hung out there good putt though don't mind that shame it's a four but we have two par fives back to back now so time to make it up right then hole seven just the 540 yards and a load of scrub land to aim at there's like a clump of trees in the middle that i'm aiming for I'm just going to absolutely paste this straight at them. Mm, just pulled it off those bits. It'll be alright, but it's just run into the thick rough on the left, which I was hoping to avoid. Right, just a tiny bit off with my tee shot. A bit awkward because I'm on a down slope. I should be able to make good contact, so I've got a 7 iron. It is just a layup. But it should be a relatively straightforward one, if there is such a thing. A bit right of where I wanted, so it'll probably miss the fairway, but it's absolutely fine. Third shot. That's the 100 yard marker, so I have 104. So it's just a nice 52. Wind's into off the right, so I'm going to have to hit this hard. Try and get it on the same level as the hole. I mean, that's the aim of the game, generally. Come out well. Well, it's definitely enough club. Looks like too much, actually, worryingly. Might be an interesting putt. It's looking a little dicey at the moment, guys, but stick with me. The form will come back, I promise. Was a bit concerned that my 52 wasn't going to reach, so I gave it a little bit of extra juice, and now we're putting down a ski slope. If I too put this, if there was a medal, I feel like I should be given it. I, yeah, here we go. Put 
pray for me. That needs to go. Stop bobbling, please. Oh, Johnny, you absolute buffoon. Parput incoming, more right to left and still downhill. Still early doors, but this feels like a must make. Oh, you can't be that slow. Well, I feel as though I've still missed the putt, even though it hasn't reached, so. That's a three whack and a fairly catastrophic six, I'm afraid. Hey dear, I feel a little hard done by there, but if only I could put. At least now we have a downwind par five, so I can have a bit of a lash with the driver. Just up the left centre, try and release one at about 100 ball speed. Absolutely appalling strike, but I think it might have saved me. Yeah, it's, it's a good bad and came off somewhere in the region of there from the club face. <laughs> Here we go then. 192 flag, but it's downwind. 175 front, so I've actually got a 7-iron. Just going to err slightly left of this pin because everything will feed to the right. We're behind the cut line at four over, but it's not a bad thing. We can still get this back, got to believe. Especially when you hit shots like that. Be good. Can't see it, but that's exactly what I was trying to do. So hopefully we're putting for eagle. Right, this for eagle. I would love a two putt or even a one putt. Not a lot in it, just slightly uphill. Big moments, big heart. I can do this. <laughs> I was panicking. Wow, that's a, an eagle three, and that gets us back to two over, and the emotional and golfing roller coaster continues. What is going on? Honestly, I could tell from a mile away. Calm the emotions. Last hole of the front nine. Another long par four, and it's slightly into the wind. Been aiming the driver straight, so I'm going to aim a bit further right and then just try and hit that ripper draw I've been doing all day. Come on, need a tiny bit more draw. Trying. Yeah, it really is trying. That'll be pretty good. Maybe right edge of the fairway. Yeah, yeah we're, we're starting to find the, the middle of the face. Who put this mound here? I'm literally always next to it. Fortunately, I'm not on it or in it. So I've got, yet again, another gap wedge. Perfect yardage for it. Tiny flyer lie. Plonk this on the green and give myself another birdie attempt. Finish strong. That's not strong, I've fatted it. Somehow get up there. That's all your fault. It's not in the ditch. Could have been a lot worse. <laughs> ah! Well, my game's all over the place. I didn't go in the ditch. That's a good thing. I'm gonna have to really, really apply myself here to get up and down for par. And that's what we're gonna try. It's all uphill. Thank you. Could have done without the hop right, but the rest of it was brilliant. Probably outside the hole from right to left, but we've just gotta trust it. Let's knock it in. Just trickled in on the right, but there's no pictures on the scorecard. Here we go then. Plus two stood on the 10th tee. It's such a beautiful hole as well. It's the perfect eight iron, 158 yards. Probably don't want to go firing at this left pin, so just aim 10 feet right of it. Hold it wind. I've gone left of it. And it's not long enough. Oh, got 
Get out your bucket and spades, ladies and gents, we're in the bunker. Well, it's glaringly obvious, but I've short-sided myself a touch. The benefit being I'm on the upslope. It's actually not too bad. I can get this up and down. I will get this up and down. It's not bad. Left myself a bit of a naughty downhill putt for par, but I can make it. Right, I've opted to leave the flag in simply because I've got something to hit rather than dribbling it in the front. Pace shouldn't be an issue because it's straight downhill. I need this to stay inside the cut line. Testing the nerves. That was a superb up and down from the bunker. If I do say so myself. Well, I'm not making life easy for myself, that's for sure. But we're on to the 11th and I'm aiming up the wrong fairway, for better or worse. I'm aiming over this red tee box marker through the trees because I'm just concerned about everything up the 11th fairway. Well, that's where I was aiming. Yeah, it's probably my best strike of the day up the wrong fairway, so <laughs> take from that what you will. <laughs> I know it seems ridiculous, but my decision has been completely vindicated. I've got perfect line at this flag, perfect distance for the 52 degrees, 120. And I don't care that I've missed the fairway, in all honesty. It's not good for the stats, though. Be right. Straight at it. Oh, be right indeed. I've just watched Luke hit a dart and I'm inside him. We're golfing. Ah, That's a nice birdie putt. <laughs> We've had a bit of it all. This is... It's an unbelievably stressful way to play golf, but golf's a silly old game. And now we've arrived on a hole that gives me sleepless nights. 444 yards into the wind. Cheers. But we've got a good one in the locker, I feel like. No, stay there. Oh dear. It's rifled into the trees, but I think it's dropped down. That's going to be a very, very long way away. Okay, still struggling to make sense of golf. I've got 230 to the flag. I don't think this hybrid's gonna get there, but if I can land it short, we might get on the green. This could be the moment, ladies and gents. There's trouble lurking. Go left a tiny bit trying well, I'll tell you what it didn't do anything close to what I was hoping for but we're safe I'll take it class. my heart was racing <laughs> over that ball unnecessarily maybe right come up short I've got a lot of green to work with though so I've opted for the pitching wedge just get it on the ground running early towards a hole like a putt That's come out with loads of spin and been chewed up by the green. Not good, I'm afraid. Would like that one back if that were possible. Well, I'm trying desperately to keep things interesting, albeit I don't want to. I just want tapping pars or birdies. <laughs> it's very straight. Turn left. Oh man, you certainly can't make them all, but that looked very good for a long time. Just drifted away at the end. That's a bogey in Texas to plus two, so we're clinging on for dear life. Okay, 13th hole, and it is some golf hole, this. Bunkers everywhere. Can't really afford to miss the green. 134, I've got nine iron, just going straight at it, and if it peels to the left a tiny bit, that's fine. Pins on the right. It's 
just turning a bit left. Yep, that looks good. It's on the green, we're dancing. We're actually long of pin high, so we've got a bit of downhill and a bit of left to right. It's not one to be aggressive with, but one I would absolutely love to haul. Just hanging around that cut line and I just want some safety, please. Nope, no turn. Hmm. I did. Just dribbled on a little further than I would have liked, but I've hit a good putt, it's just not gone in. It does happen occasionally. Yeah, a fairly stress free three. Can't even say the words. And now the rain starts, that's going to make things tough. I am loving every second of this. It's tough, the rain started, hopefully it won't last. But we've got a par five here and it's a great hole. Just hammering driver up the right hand side. Hope for a bounce left. Nothing to it. Wow, that's as good as I could do. Nearly got in front of the tracer. And that's taken an enormous bounce. Love it. That's exactly what we needed. Okay, I've hit a really nice tee shot there. I've got perfect position. 162 flag downwind, so it's just going to be a nice flighted eight iron. Try and land it 10 yards short. Give ourselves an eagle putt. No, just leaked it out to the right. It's not great, but there's no real trouble up there, so hopefully I can get it up and down. I'm delighted to say, as misses go, this was a good one. And that is some view. But we're forgetting about that. Get the blinkers on. Relatively straightforward chip here. Just need to get the 56 on the green and running. And the contour should do the rest. Come on, let's stick this tight. Go. Go. Mm. Just popped up a little bit more than I was expecting. Still, five feet or so for birdie. Thank God for that. Thank you, sir. Solid goal. All over the place, but we're making birdies, eagles, bogeys, doubles, <laughs> absolutely everything, and it's all in the name of YouTube. 432 yard par 4, 15th, cheers. And it's into the wind again. So the punches keep coming. But if I can get a good one away, we're in business. And it should help me keep it away from the trees. So I'm aiming it pretty much straight at the flag. And if it drifts on the wind, happy days. Turn. I've absolutely nuked it, but it's not coming left. Hmm. It's took a straight bounce, but I suspect there may be some lumber trouble. Annoyingly, I can't do anything about the rain, and I'm a yard into this rough, but it's quite wispy, so I don't think it's too much of a concern. The problem I've got is I'm too far right, so I have no way of getting at this flag. I've got a wedge. If I can just hit it 20 feet left of the pin, that would be amazing give ourselves a putt. Oh dear, I've pulled it. I mean it's safe, but it's nowhere near where I wanted to be. At least I'm chipping up the green, so it's okay. But not great. But okay. But not great. We're at one over, so we don't have a lot of wiggle room here. And I've already made a Horlix of one of these long chips earlier, so I've opted for the 52 degree this time and fly it a bit further. Bogey's not the end of the world, however, I would much prefer a four. Now I'm afraid you're getting retrospective, Johnny, because my microphone battery came up short. As has that chip, so we're left with about eight feet for the par save, and really could do with it at plus one currently. Bit of left to right, snuck it in, bit of a knee bend and a huge exhale of breath. But that's a part. 
And we're on to the 16th. Not a long haul by any stretch of the imagination. But it's not easy, especially when you get to the green. It's unbelievably narrow. See how the tee shot goes. Started on a lovely line, but just drifted left. And it's not going to turn out too great, I'm afraid. We just drifted into this thick rough. And it's rather unpleasant here. Fortunately, there's only 60 yards to go. Give that a good swipe to get it out of there. Unfortunately, hit it a little bit too hard. And with the flag being on this front portion, got quite a nasty little putt here for Birdie. Up a massive Mackenzie. Absolutely bombed that. Need that with the driver, but not so much with the putter. Another one of these for par. I'm afraid that's nowhere near, and suddenly, with two holes to go, we're two over. And we don't really have any wiggle room. Which is not good. Especially when you arrive at the 17th, with treachery left, right, and pretty much everywhere. You cannot miss right. There's bunkers lurking to the left if you try to go too safe. So, essentially, you need to be straight. That was a 9-iron. Struck it well, but I'm afraid that's a missed club. Should have hit 8. And I've dumped it in this cavernous front right bunker, way below the level of the green. And this is not an easy shot. The bunker lips in my way, so I have to get steep. That's a gigantic oopsie. There goes my ball disappearing into the bushes, never to be seen again. And we're no better off because now we're playing four from the same spot. Better contact. <laughs> Except didn't hit it hard enough this time, which you can probably let me off for following that first one. And we're in no better position. Only got away with that by virtue of sculling it into a very steep bank. Possible swear words coming out of my mouth. Thankfully, you can't hear them. So once you've got your calculator out, you'll soon find that this is for a triple bogey six off a catastrophic downslope. Off goes the ball and my golf game. This now for seven. Please let it end. No. So that's a snowman. Just a small matter there. You'd be forgiven for thinking I might have just walked in and never played the game again. But no, there's still a hole left. So can I save me blushes? I think I need a hole in one to make the cut now. Given that the old Ripper Magoo. And it's as good as I can hit a ball. Which is strange considering what's just preceded it. So we'll wander through the ravine contemplating our life decisions and to 50 yards in I was thinking to myself maybe I could hold this for a two and make the cut but my mathematics was deplorable at this stage especially considering I can't even count to eight apparently so this for birdie left the approach a tiny bit short thought that was in Lou Curley called it and I hate him for that but what a video I'll have to come back I can't just leave it like this. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.